Cardano price at one point was three dollars. Now we're sitting at 30 cents. And the question many people are asking in 2023 is, can Cardano hit a new all time high this year? And to put it short, I will get to the point. My answer to this is it could, but it will probably not happen. Um, it is a bit of a stretch because although you're maybe down 90% to get back to $3, we have to be up a lot more than 90%. Now, that's just how investing and percentages work and down draws and up draws and whatever else. But to put it in short, I do think in the long run, Cardano will make a new all time high. I just don't think it'll be this year with the state of the entire economy from macro's perspective, although I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I never thought Cardano would go below a dollar. It is unlikely. Um, however, when will it happen and how will it happen is another question. And today I'm going to answer or put some speculation to the air on maybe the most important factors of Cardano's longevity and return to a new all time high. First things first, if you're holding ADA on the way to the all time high, you might as well stake it and staking it helps you centralize the network. It helps make the network more healthy in a lot of cases. And you can do it with a Jack stake. We'll turn passive ADA on your ADA every five days. Um, but that being said, the most important thing to me is the roadmap. Are we following the roadmap? And this will play a large factor in Cardano's success as scaling and governance, as well as decentralization, which is an ongoing part of Cardano for sure. Those two things keeping in check and progressing are very important because if we get a bunch of use, new users, when we hit new all-time highs or get close to it, we have to be able to be scaled enough for that. And once those users come into the ecosystem, we have to make sure that it's a censorship resistant ecosystem. It's a decentralized distributed network. So that's very important. And then third, uh, Voltaire governance. We need to be able to govern the system in a decentralized way and allow people inside the network to have a say in where the network goes and what happens inside the network and the rules and the parameters and everything else um, just by you or me could help influence these things. So those to me are all very important for Cardano's future success. And along with that is the adoption of Cardano, whether it be NFTs right now, we're sitting in the anywhere from third to fifth top blockchains for NFTs on daily volumes or DeFi, decentralized finance is very important too. These things climbing up the charts and these things having adoption are very important. Um, and right now Cardano's TVL has been going kind of sideways, which is a lot better than a lot of the other blockchains, although things like Ethereum and other bigger blockchains have more TVL, their TVL has dropped significantly in the bear market. And most of this is just ADA price drawdown you're seeing here. However, TVL in general has been going kind of sideways and even a little bit up at times throughout the bear market, although this chart doesn't really show that maybe I'm lying a little bit, but maybe a little bit of copium for Cardano. But to me, Cardano's price drawdown has been down significantly since, you know, May or June, when you go inside this here, or August, and although it's went down, you know, a lot in the price, the USD value is still pretty similar because of all the new ADA coming to the ecosystem and participating in DeFi. Now, I know that maybe it's a stretch to say that these are the only things that are needed to make sure Cardano reclaims an all-time high because the markets are not very rational. The markets were not very rational when Cardano went up from you know $1.22 to its all-time high of $3 in just a short period of time of a few months. And I know that a lot of Cardano and price movement in crypto in general is decided by Bitcoin and then just people getting excited and thinking they're going to make a bunch of money. So when we get to $3 again, I do think we're more equipped now to handle the load for scaling and also actually having people and users be able to do something in Cardano. Now you can buy MTs, you can use DeFi protocols, um, whether it be Indigo, uh, synthetic assets, or so many more things, and this is only going to be growing so long as we have developers who are actively participating in Cardano. And that also is going to come into this mesh SDK. This is a tooling base for Cardano, it's code base. This is growing every day and getting better. But there's templates, there's guides, and more things like this developer tooling are what is going to project Cardano into a more vast ecosystem with all types of different depths um, that will in hand boost TVL, boost attention, and boost the actual use case where people can benefit from things on Cardano. That is the most important to me. So no, I can't say for certain if Cardano will reach a new all-time high in 2023, although to me it is unlikely with the current state of everything and Bitcoin's halving cycle not being until a few years out, which indicates most of crypto prices at the moment 
But right now, everything is building on Cardano. Things are going pretty darn good, especially in a bear market. And I'm hopeful and obviously I believe long term Cardano will succeed. That's why I invest in Cardano. That's why I make YouTube videos every day on Cardano. And that's why I'm talking about Cardano right now to my camera in my mom's basement. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. So hit the subscribe button, take the jack stake bull, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.